Well, afternoon. Uh, welcome back to Bear Shop, yeah, Red Shop. It is Sunday, the uh, 22nd of March. And uh, even though I've been battling some flu, etc., thought it'd be best to get out here and shop. All our uh, local churches have kind of abided by the law of the governor, so we couldn't go to church today. And I started feeling a little bit better all about uh, noon or so. So coming out and trying to finish and button up the Dana 27 for that 66 CJ5. We'll call this uh, episode uh, one still for CJ5, 66, uh, be part 20. And uh, today uh, was uh, kind of foggy, rainy, etc. cetera. Uh, my voice is gonna be scratchy because I've been on antibiotics, etc. We'll don't go into all that. I wanted to show you a little bit. Uh, this is uh, finally got to the right proper uh, inch pounds. We're setting this at about 12 because I have a rear pinion bearing that was in good shape, used, and then I put a new, and it was a Tempkin. Uh, there was no mar, no, no sense in changing it. The race and the uh, bearing uh, was good. So, but I did need to get a new front uh, cup and a uh, new uh, roller uh, bearing. And uh, I've already drove in the seal. Now, I save the races like everybody. Uh, I learned a lot, not only from Brian, but I've been doing this for years. But anyhow, this is the uh, race or the cup, uh, which is the 311. It makes an excellent driver for the new uh, oil seal that's out here in the front. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll put this in the toolbox and we'll save it till our grandkids or whatever, you know, decide to sell grandpa's stuff. Yeah. Well, anyhow, uh, it makes an excellent uh, deal to put these seals in. We're going to use 518. I'm not advertised for Loctite. I love this stuff to put in on the yoke. So this way, uh, there's, I didn't have a paper gasket for this one. So I used the uh, same thing I've showed you before. I used the aircraft, uh, really dark, good sealer. Uh, anything that's gonna get around and through this is, you know, it, it just don't. Uh, a paper gas could have been better. I only put a thin, thin layer around the seal before it went in. Now, this is the way we do it. Uh, I want you guys to watch Metal Shaper Brian over there. He is uh, thorough. Uh, I'm not advertising for him. I'm not advertising for Gearbox. I've watched Gearbox, old Paul. Uh, I just subscribed to him because these generations of us old guys teaching you youngsters the proper way to build and rebuild is going away and we want y'all to follow us and we want to keep uh restorations of old vintage uh classics uh whether it be street rods jeeps airplanes tractors whatever and I'm probably hyperventilating today because I'm seeing too many of our young folks not interested in uh, the mechanics of what goes on to not only keep a car running, change the oil, etc. Some of them don't even know where the dipstick is. And that's a shame. We old guys got to teach these young folks everything we can before we pass away and it's lost. Uh, they can they can learn so much off the internet. They just won't put gas in and go. Okay, enough said. Let's put this sealer in. Uh, I've already got the. Uh, it, this is properly already clean. It is oil free. It's been in. Uh, you know, I painted the outside, but it is spotless. So let's put the uh, gel in here. The five eighteen. Well, it's going to be a little bit cold, I guess, today. Let's see if we can get it to come up out of here. This is some good stuff. 
Uh, this is also used in uh, a lot of the Muncie's uh, uh, other transmissions as a gasket maker, but it definitely gives a uh, good seal. And that way, if any of the oil leaks past this seal and wants to come out these threads, there's no weano. So we got a nice little bead going in there. I'm going to actually put a little bit more. I'm not trying to bore you with me putting this in, but this is extremely, uh, we're about 45 degrees out here in the shop for some reason, Texas. Ah, there we go. All right, let's, let's make sure we got enough down in these spleens that uh, anything that's going to try to pass is not going to come out. Now this is not Loctite. This is like a gasket maker, so we're, we're good here. I've already here have put some really nice, uh, the red uh, grease in here, and I'm going to actually put some more on the outside of this. Hang on, bear with me. Nothing like getting your hands greasy, kids. You gotta learn this stuff if you're gonna do any of this. My uh, granddaughter, I love her to death. She just fixing to graduate. Now she can't go across stage because of this virus. She's a little upset. I am too, but we'll all get over this uh, virus. And I did hear today uh, from a neighbor that uh, didn't should have watched the internet more that the stuff for the malaria is uh, kind of a known cure in about six days. Uh, I just come over about and they give me antibiotics. No test kits available for us old guys out here on the farm areas. But I uh, wasn't too concerned with it. All right. Let's zoom this. Uh, let's zoom this in. And I'll try to stay out of the way. Let me wipe my hands here real quick, guys. And gals. I know i got a few gals watching. Yeah. Some of these girls love... Let's turn these up. Some of these girls love to turn wrenches as much as us guys. Yeah, a lot of them love drag racing. You know, we... Uh, my wife, my bride, uh, work behind uh, a, a dragster uh, group up there in Ohio. And she loved to put it in and get around that uh, alcohol, meth, methanol. Me, my eyes burned. Oh, man. But I love to watch them go fast. Huh. Hope I didn't give you, like, let's go drag racing. But All right, let's get back to business. Let's turn this down here. Now we're going to put on the, uh, I am, I'm going to get a new nut. You know, for the pinion. Excuse me. I will get a new nut, but for today's video, I'm going to put the old one on. And uh, we'll pull this up. Yeah, bear with me. And I don't mind using an impact just to get it up there to it. So hang on just a minute. I bet y'all thought I was out there sleeping. Back. All right, let, let's uh, torque this up as close as we can. All right, that just touched tone. Now, specs on this is at uh, 100 on the Dana 44 and about 85, 90 on the uh, Dana 27. And so I have got to use uh, a cheater. Let me set up my cheater. 
Now, Brian over at Metal Shapers, please don't spank my hands, but I don't have that uh, fancy uh, bar you have yet. I will own one soon. Uh, he's got a spreader bar that goes across and has a couple of bolts. And uh, if I get time, I'm actually going to reproduce and make one. But I'm going to use right now an unknown, yes, I'm sorry, pipe wrench. But I've got no wife out here to hold the other end. She's all sick. So we're going to do this, and we're, we're set at uh, 85 foot-pounds of torque. All right. Let's get her a good bite. There's 85. Now, we, we had already had this uh, with a rotational uh, inch pound on it, and we were shooting at 10 to 11. Uh, with new bearings, you're going to go a little tighter on the pinion. Uh, but we have good, no in play. Let's turn her back down and zoom in. If that's a good shot. No in play, no slack. So we had already done this before the oil sealer went in, uh, oil uh, seal. And uh, also then we allowed for the... Uh, uh, oil wiper slinger if you can see that uh, but we have the same uh, there's not going to be any change there's no sense in me putting on the uh, foot uh, rotational excuse me let's back out here putting on the uh, inch pound you know rotational deal again because we're, we're very very happy with this and uh, like I say, we only had to change the front base uh, race and our cup and bearing. Some people call them races, but we're real happy with this. Uh, we've already set up the, uh, uh, the ring that's going in, the carrier. So I uh, hope, hope this has been helpful to you. Now, real quick, let me uh, see if we can get around here. This is the setup that I've got. Uh, I've got, of course, you've seen it before in another video. We have the old Delta uh, base over here with a 16 inch rotor plate. I use a uh, strap tie down on this end. On this end though, I use a, uh, let me zoom down here. I use the U-bolt uh, and then I come up underneath here and I torque this with the uh, plate. That way I have no flop, no mess. I don't have big tables, uh, not a enough room here in this shop for a uh, massive you know, table of where I could work on a big table. But uh, anyhow, I hope these videos will help you and we'll try to come back and uh, continue on the CJ5. Uh, also, uh, since I'm getting feeling a little better, uh, we'll get back on this uh, C3 Corvette as well. And uh, the Jubilee, it's kind of on a hole right now. Uh, it's taking funds that I don't have to throw away. And uh, the CJ definitely is, uh, you know, worth uh, continuing on uh, for you guys to see. Hopefully, thumbs up, subscribe, come back, share comments good or bad we'll love them all and uh brian and maria and matt at metal shapers hope uh, y'all have wonderful spring uh maybe the garden's ready to plant and uh hopefully we'll see you in texas and paul over there at gear uh, box video uh i just started subscribing to him about two days ago he's very uh, knowledgeable too uh, you know, if you guys are thinking you can't handle changing bearings, races, etc., rear ends, front ends, uh, transfer cases, but uh, when you do get in a bind, uh, please visit uh, Brian over at Metal Shavers and uh, he'll direct you in the right way. Come back and see us and visit us on Facebook, Jerry Marcy 
uh, is also the same uh, icon. And if you're into upholstery, uh, I have some uh, photograph albums there on a lot of upholstery we've done over the years. So uh, be glad to uh, get your comments and we do ship. So that's a plus too. Talk to you later. Come back and see us.